So a great way to practice your slice serve without hitting a ball is by using your serve master. So all it takes is getting the correct grip and envisioning where you're going to contact the ball. This is a really good mental practice for you and a good physical practice for you because you have to know where your ball toss location for contact is going to be. Right? That's the most important thing you're going to be doing when you're hitting any tennis ball. Where is my contact point? So all I'm going to be doing when I'm swinging my serve master is I'm holding my grip. I'm actually going to go a little bit more extreme than the grip marker on here to the left. And I'm going to be swinging out to the right. Then I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. But I need to get sort of into that groove of where is this contact point. And then with this, I don't have to worry about edge. I don't have to worry about anything. I just going through my motion, making it nice and smooth, going to contact point, and then we'll figure it out from there. So the first three, I took a swing way too far to the right. That would simulate my ball toss being out to the right. Do it a few times with your serve master, then pick up a ball on a racket and do exactly the same thing, but you have to then initiate the toss and an actual hit. Use your serve master, bring it in a little bit more. It's still gonna be slightly to the right, your contact point and do it a whole bunch of times. Do it a whole bunch of times. Get the feel, pick up your racket, try and put that ball toss in the right place and see what happens. You'll be amazed at how much quicker you get this whole thing if you use your serve master.